And today, President Biden will meet with the families of Americans taken hostage by Hamas during the October 7th attacks. All of this comes as White House security advisors head to Israel. They're set to meet with Israeli officials about their timetable for the war in Gaza. On Tuesday, Biden said there's no question about the need to take out Hamas, but the president warned Israel is losing international support because of the indiscriminate bombing of Gaza. The 193-member the U.N. General Assembly voted overwhelmingly for a ceasefire. Only 10 countries, including the U.S., voted against the measure, arguing anything longer than a temporary pause would be dangerous. ...to Israelis who would be subject to relentless attacks and also dangerous to Palestinians who deserve the chance to build a better future for themselves free from Hamas. Right now in Israel, there's growing demand for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to do more to free hostages. 